Yo! <laughs> What's up everybody? It's Superfly Fat Guy 859 coming at you yet again. Um <clears throat> guys, I'm gonna <laughs> This is what I should have did Sunday, but I'm telling you, man, I just had zero motivation. I feel like I got boogers. I got any boogies? I got bats in a cave? Anything? Alright. <laughs> um I just have, I've had zero motivation to make uh, videos. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what it was. I mean, today, like, I'm all about making videos, but just since Saturday, I've been like, blah, you know, blah. <laughs> but but uh, Sunday, um, man, I was just real busy. Like, you know, my regular Sunday routine, laundry, dishes, cleaning, everything, taking out the garbage. And, um... I just was like, I don't feel like doing it, you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> this might be, I don't know, kind of, you guys might make fun of this, but um, I actually found a website that uh, I could watch um, <laughs> all the episodes of uh, Two Broke Girls. <laughs> I love that show. If there's any girls out there that watch my videos that look like Max, from Two Broke Girls, and you act like Max, I would love to marry you. I'll marry you right now. I don't care. I'll do whatever you want. I'll marry you. That's pretty much it. I'll just marry you. <laughs> but, like, I love how sarcastic she is. How Anyway, I don't want to get into that. But she she's an awesome, awesome chick in that show now she might not be like that at all in real life but if i could find a chick just like her that'd be awesome uh so i wanted to say sorry for not making any videos i should have made vi man i really feel like i got some boogies dude um sorry <laughs> that's disgusting but i'm gonna leave it in there hell with it i even if there is a chick out there she is not gonna want me now <laughs> um so the next video i do right after this is gonna be the new subscriber shout outs for the month of uh april uh, thank you to everybody. I think I got like a hundred and I don't know fifty something this month uh, or last month. Um, so we're gonna call this <coughs> Superfly dot 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 some days. <laughs> so we'll make up for Sunday. Um, so let's see what I want to talk about. I want to talk about quite a few things today. So this one might be a long video. Um, first thing I want to talk about is. Um, this bone collector. This was a pawn shop find, and uh, I was with my buddy Corey. Um, not, I got two buddies with that are named Corey. One C O R E Y, and one's just C O R Y. So I'm going to refer to them as either Y or E Y. <laughs> the, the one, uh, let's see. The one EY was in Superfly Sunday's episode 12, 11 or 12. The one where I was at the camp and Dad was with me and all that. I think it was 12. Anyway, <coughs> EY. Uh, we went to a pawn shop over in uh, Covington. And um, I said, man, that looks like a Benchmade uh, bone collector up there, brother. And he pulled it down and he was like, yeah, somebody did a horrendous job on the blade. And they did. They did a rough, I mean, whew, it is it is marked up something terrible, right? Uh, but other than that, it's in great shape. It's, it's absolutely a fantastic knife. I should have bought it myself, <laughs> but I didn't. Um, Corey, Corey's new into the EDC knife stuff. And um, he's been wanting a, a nice carry blade. And... Uh, so I told him I was like, you know what? They had forty bucks on this. Forty bucks. I mean, it's it's fantastic. It's just got scratches on the blade. He's gonna use this. This ain't a collector. He's gonna use this. So he's gonna get scratches on it anyway. Uh, I mean, it's 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 kind of sharp, but but not for real. I mean, it's extremely extremely toothy. You know what I mean? Extremely toothy. Um, it's like it's like a ten year old put this edge on here with a with like a bandsaw or something or is that what I want to say like one of those things that knife guys use to like actually shape the blades he's like Bzz. 
Anyway, it, it's just a terrible, terrible job that they did. But and like I said, it as you can see, it's all scratched up um, on both sides. But other than that, it's a, it's a fantastic blade considering these are like a hundred and thirty dollars brand new. So uh, so he picked this up. This was two weeks ago, <coughs> week or two, something like that. Uh, so anyway, he picked it up and. Uh, I brought it home because, well, I was going to send it off to Cendric 77, and I might still do that because I trust his sharpening skills more than I do mine, but that's kind of a segue into what I bought today, um, which, okay, I'll tell you what, I, we'll go ahead and, and go into what I bought. So anyway, I brought this home with me so that I could get good with this, and, uh, and sharpen it for him. Um, I'm definitely going to have to watch this CD. But uh, yeah, I bought me a Triangle Sharp Maker. Um, Spyderco. And basically it was Swiss Army Zippo. And uh, Be Active Life, I think. I think, that, I, think, I think it was Be Active Life. If not, shout out to Be Active Life. That's, that's my homie. <laughs> but uh, anyway... They talked me into, well, not really talked me into it. They just showed how fantastic edges you can get with this. You know, I'm not, I don't need polished edges. I'm going to use my knives. But I, I do need something that can give me some really good edges. So, um, this is highly recommended from a bunch of different people. So, I got one. I, I don't know how much they cost online, but I paid $57.50. So, if that's a good deal... Yeah, what, what? <laughs> also, I needed some paracord for the old uh, bug out bag. And uh, I have a bunch of philosophies on neon orange uh, for the same reason why they use it for hunting. If I needed to be seen, I got it. Uh, so I got that. Plus, I mean, you know, you can use this for a million different things. So I got that for the old just in case bag. That's what I call it, but bug out bag. And then I did get uh, some more OD green. I I think I got some, but I I don't think it's enough to do a, a lanyard that I want to do on the uh, the para two. So that's what I got today. So let me tell you a little story. Um, usually, you know, now that I'm I'm older and I'm a little wiser. I respect officers of the law. I respect cops. You know, uh, I respect what they do. But I had one today that was an absolute dickhead to me. Uh, well, to me and my buddy Corey both. So let me let me paint the picture for you, okay? We're on Mama Street in Newport. As you can see from that crazy ass video that Corey took of me with his phone, we're at Gourmet Chili, right? Right before that, we were at Cecil Clark Knife Shop. So it goes like. The I don't know if you can see me. The knife shop, okay, the street's here. So the knife shop, like a kid's, like a used, used clothes store for kids or something. Like a kid's closet kind of thing. Uh, like a bar, a bar and a restaurant together. And then right next to that is Gourmet Chili. So, it's, I mean, there's like four, you know, it's like a four stores right there. But Mama Street is nothing but restaurants and bars and stores and shit all the way from from uh what is that third no fourth street all the way to 12th street or 11th street so i mean it's just nothing but stores it's like the main street of newport anyway so uh so we're at this knife shop you know i get the stuff here we go to gourmet chili which is four doors down or three doors down whatever um ah, three doors down boom bing <laughs> and uh, we pull, or we we leave there. You know, we're done eating, whatever. We leave there, and we go to walk across the street. And as I'm, you know, because I'm walking to my car, so Cecil Clark's is here, Mama Street's here, and then my car's here. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. It really is irrelevant. But anyway, so we walk to the car, and I look over, and I see the owner of Cecil Clark Knife Shop uh, standing outside. And we had when we left, they closed. Okay, we stayed until they closed. Well. <clears throat> We see him standing out there with a couple of cops, and we're like, what the hell? So we're standing there, and we're just kind of listening to see, you know, what's going on. Because, I mean, I know Kendall. Like, Kendall's a, he's not like a, I don't like hang out with him or anything, but he knows me from the from going in there. 
and uh, and vice versa. Obviously, I know him from going in there, and I've been going in Cecil Clark's for years since I was a little kid. They were at a different location up the street, but I was still going in there. So I'm standing there listening, and uh, they stopped talking for a second, and because that's what I do, you know, when you when you want to talk to somebody, you wait until they're done talking before you butt in. You know, you don't want to cut somebody off. That, that's that's one of those lessons I need to throw in one of those videos. <laughs> anyway, so I waited for him to stop talking. And I was like, Kendall, I was like, you alright, man? And I put my thumb up, like, you know, you alright? Because it, it's, you know, it's a busy, it's a real busy street. But, without missing a beat, like, Kendall looked at me and smiled and was like, hey, you know, this fucking cop turned around and started screaming, Oh, what? Yeah, he's alright. Are you alright? I'm not the bad guy here. We're the good guy. Like, he's screaming, being a fucking dick. And, uh, we're the good guys here, you know? And I'm like, oh my god, okay, dude, whatever. And, like, he's screaming at the top of his lungs for no fucking reason, just being a dickhead. And like he walks, like he walks to the edge of the, the you know, the concrete on that, the sidewalk on that side, and he's screaming, "We're the good guy," you know, whatever. Don't worry about whatever. Like he's just screaming, right? I'm like, what the f fuck, you dude? You know what I mean? So like, anyway, I go to get in the car, and as soon as I get in the car, and my buddy Corey's like at his car because uh, he parked up the street a little bit, but across the street on the same side as Cecil Clark's. Well, the Right before I get in the car, the cop goes in the store or whatever. And I'm like, man, that guy's a dickhead. So I get in the car, and as I'm about to pull off, the, the cop comes outside. He was like, you all right? Like, screaming. He's like, you all right? You all right? Now, like, I thumbed him up, but I wanted to flick him off. But I knew that they are just dickheads down there, man. So I, that would have just caused more problems than anything. But and then he walks over to my buddy Corey that's getting in his car, and he starts screaming at him like, you all right? Like, he's, like he's be just being a dickhead, man. And I just... I didn't like that at all. Like I don't, I don't give a like. I know you're a cop. I wasn't asking if you like if you were the one harassing him. I was just asking Kendall if he was all right. If he got beat up and robbed or what? I don't know. And then his wife, his wife's like, you know, old, I think she's older than she than he is, and I don't think she's in great that great a shape. And and I, you know, I didn't want him to be hurt or anything. So I was just asking, like, you fucking you okay? You know what I mean? And that cop was just an asshole, dude. Um, so I just wanted to throw it out there. He was a dickhead, uh, and you know I know not all not all policemen are like that. Cops, police officer, whatever you want to call them. But I just wanted to throw it out there because he was a prick. He was an absolute prick. Um, so that's about it, guys. I'm gonna call this, like I said, Superfly some days. And uh, I think that's about it. I do want to give out a couple shout outs though. Um, and you know I'm gonna put um, Swiss Army Zippo's uh, link in the description. I'm going to put Be Active Life's uh, link in the description. You know, I mean, he don't need a shout-out from me, but uh, he's got a way bigger channel than I do, but he's an awesome, awesome dude. So go check him out for sure. And then I want to shout-out a couple people that I don't think I've ever shouted out before, so I want to give them a shout-out. Live for Wild and Wolverine Prepper. Uh, two just awesome, awesome guys. Just, just they're, Well, they're both preppers, and they're just awesome people. Like, they're just awesome dudes. Like, I don't know how to explain it. They're really humble. They're really kind. They never have anything bad to say. Uh, Wolverine Prepper, I've joked with him a bunch of times in comments and stuff like that in conversations that we've had. Um, just really awesome dude. And then Live for a while is the same thing. You know, he's a family man. He's a, he's a prepper. He's a hunter. He's he's a just an all-around just awesome dude. So I'm going to put all four of those links in the description. And I'd appreciate it if you guys check him out. Again, if you like what you see, sub him. If you don't, don't. You know what I mean? I say that about everything. But, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. This is long enough. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, do my new subscriber shout-outs for the, the month of April. So, everybody, I think that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> Take it easy.